If we could ask anyone living in the 1950s, what do you expect from the next 70 years? Probably he would answer something like uh, flying cars or living into the space. And here we are, still remaining on the same planet, but thanks to people like Bezos, Ransom, Musk, we have been experiencing uh, spatial tourism, even if just for a tour around the Earth. In fact, to reach planets light years away, we um, should have a spacecraft like Enterprise, also um, a protection from cosmic radiation and maybe more than one life uh, because of the extreme duration of the space flight. However, as space movies creatively taught us, this could be solved through the hibernation of astronauts in order to so that increase the less pain limiting food supply and waste production as well as avoiding uh, the uh, psychological problems that could derive from sharing uh, uh, a close and uh, um, small environment with other people even for decades and after pandemic everyone can understand what it means well but it's just science fiction right not really actually Several mammalian species like marmots, uh, bears, and even some primates, they um, cope, uh, to cope with the harsh cold environment, they just switch on and stand by mode. They decrease their metabolism and body temperature and then um, wake up when times improve. They naturally enter in torpor or hibernation. And what else? They are also radio resistant. So basically, they are perfect astronauts. Trying to emulate them, we um, have been successfully carrying out a procedure to induce uh, rats, non hibernated like mammals, like other mammals, uh, like humans, into a condition of synthetic torpor by pharmacological blocking a specific brain area, which is responsible for the maintenance of the cost of body temperature. So, exposed to cold environment, animals just become hypothermic. And you may wonder, what about humans? Uh, it's clear that before moving forward, we need to demonstrate its safety, reversibility, and long lasting. That's why we have been assessing uh, the impact of synthetic torpor and the following rewarming process on brain from a structural and functional point of view, uh, providing the first evidences of its safeness as well as its reversibility. Moreover, we, we have been testing uh, the genes like expressed after the exposure to radiation during synthetic torpor in order to test the hypothesis that radio protection, that synthetic torpor could be radio protective also for the next generation of astronauts. Who knows, maybe in the next future, science fiction will be called science.